ladies and gentlemen what is going on welcome back to the channel for another wwe supercard rant that's right ladies and gentlemen it is the day one of the brand new elemental tier here in wwe supercard and holy fuck is it already a fail so let's just get into it uh let me just go ahead and advertise guys first off i hope you guys love the new layout thank you to messiah as always for killing it as always but my god, every time I see this layout, I always think about how fucking terrible Elemental Tier is going to probably be for all of us. So as you all know, the brand new tier has dropped. A lot of you are excited. Anticipation is like, yes, new tier, new start. Try to get a head start with all the pros and get all the cards I can so I could, you know, beat those heroics and those LMS cards you had for, for so, so long so I could beat them. Boy, were you freaking mistaken. You know Boy, were you... Uh, I don't even want to curse right now. Supercard. First off, I'm not even mad you didn't give me 15k, all right? And if anyone says that right now in the chat, no, I don't care about getting 15k credits from Supercard. Shout out to all those who did get 15k credits, though. So have fun uh, spending on packs that probably won't give you jack shit, probably. <laughs> but shout out to all of I love you, Funky. I love you, JB. I love you. I love everyone who got the 15k, all right? Support. Shout out to all you guys. No hate for me. But, my God. Supercard just they don't know what they're doing so let's talk first i want to talk is my boy scott was so excited to get into elemental tier he was really excited he thought he'll get it had six wrestlemania pros in the top eight easy money right really six wrestlemania 36 pros and he couldn't even get into the fucking tier? How does that make any sense? You're forcing people to get more and more momentum slots? Because let, let, let's be real. Not everyone fucking enjoys PvP. Let's be real. No, Not many people enjoy it. People want that shit gone. Don't get me wrong. Somewhat, I kind of do too. I think it's just too much work to do. It's a, it's a, it's a damn chore. You can't get it with hobby-like gameplay. You'll be blessed to get three, and that's about it. But this, and you couldn't even make the tier? It makes no sense. So, I don't get it. I feel bad for my boy Scott. Hopefully he gets into the tier soon, but that makes zero sense whatsoever. You shouldn't be forced to have momentum slots to progress. Stupid. Six pros, and not even getting into the tier. Bless you, Scott. Bless you. <sighs> Now, here comes the biggest rants of all. Uh, as you all know, I did get John Morrison as my freebie. I'm not going to level it up. Uh, I think overall-wise, he's okay in the tier, but he's not the greatest. Uh, I can tell by some of his stats are really, really low. He's probably mid-tier at best. But as you all know, WrestleMania tier is, is already over. We got our Bretts. We got our LMSs. We have our Heroic Pros. And you can see the stats. I'll even just go with my F3 Kevin Nash with no momentum on him. All right. You know what? I'm going to add momentum on it because, you know, so fuck it. Let me add momentum on my Kevin Nash real quick. All right. No. This is my Kevin Nash. As you can see, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2.8, 2 almost 3 million on the charisma. No, I'm not gear glitching. Is that I think his, he has a hundred and almost 200K in charisma. All right. On gear. Don't call me a glitcher. <laughs> and it's an F3. So this card is super overpowered. And you would expect the next tier after to destroy this card in four stats. Minimum. Because obviously it's a new tier. We've never had a tier come out where the card stats are lower than the previous tiers. Uh, they've always been beaten. However, this tier, totally fucking different. Let's pull up. My boy Kieran opened packs, and he got blessed with two pros. King Corbin and Randy Orton. Look at those stats. Obviously not in momentum, no gear. But look at those stats. Did y'all remember what my Kevin Ash was before I even put anything on him? Let me just remove it, because now it actually kind of makes sense if I just remove it. I mean, did y'all even see what my Kevin Ash looked like? It literally 
destroys their card. King Corbin loses almost in four stats. Almost. Of course, mine has gear, but it's mostly on charisma. I don't have it on power. I don't have it on toughness at all. Just speed and charisma. And this card literally almost four stats because Corbin is a toughness card. So obviously he just barely beats him. On a Kevin Nash card that was released at the early stages of WrestleMania tier? Barely. Barely. Gets forced at it almost. And then let's just bring in the full heroics, for example. Full heroic but momentum will never be touched. These cards will destroy the base cards even if they're F3 in momentum. It just makes no sense whatsoever that this tier was released. It was just for us to grind for more events, for more pay to win stuff. And even more shockingly improve with shit like this. It just goes to show base cards are useless. Just as much as elemental cards are going to be useless for base tier. How fucking useless they're going to be. Which means everything you need to progress in King of the Rings and beating people's asses is going to be paid to win. Again, fucking the free players. Again, over and over again. I don't get it. Supercard, where is your head? Where is your head, guys? You got to think about... 90% of the community that don't pay money for this game and just want to give you money for advertisements. And you're fucking them. They're fucking people who have to pay more money. Like, I feel like an idiot who keeps paying money, money for this game. I really feel like an idiot sometimes. People call me an idiot and I'm over here like defending myself. Why should I defend myself anymore? I'm a freaking idiot. I'm over here thinking like, yo, WWE, I watch it. Here and there, hoping they would change. But no, creative still is shit. Supercard, hoping the game would change. The game is not going in the right direction. And I just don't get it. I don't know who could sit there in their office and go, this works. This works. Like, it makes no sense. As much as I love Supercard, you guys just don't know what you're doing. Clearly. You guys are giving up. You guys think we're going to keep spending money on this shit. Trust me, man. Eventually, the money's going to stop flowing in. Because people will catch on eventually. But this is just dumb. And it's probably another reason why I don't get 15k credits. Because I like to speak my mind. But this is fucking dumb. And stupid. As a content creator, I am fucking offended by this bullshit and nonsense. I don't get it. I just don't get it. This tier is going to be trash. For you guys to enjoy this tier, all you need to do is literally play events. And that's it. Because this tier is already dead. Don't bother with it, in my opinion. Just play the events. Don't get mad if you get a, if you don't get a, a, a elemental card in your TBG pack. It's fucking useless. Fuck Supercard.